continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter. Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight. All right, let's kick her ass. I keep pressing back like I'm playing Street Fighter for block. Well, you gotta grab her and push back. It's annoying. Fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Nabala Coast. Man <laughs> of unicorns. For generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. Master All of cuddle of parties. For his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. Fight! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
it's over. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. May I assist you? Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come. Let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Hmm. It's good to see you. Didn't realize we're friends now. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless <laughs> life and his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindale's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. He's wearing a sword just for spite. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. there yet again how old are you five what can i say these boots weren't made for walking if that is the most pain you feel today consider yourself lucky oh i'm already lucky i've got sento strapped to my back i will reclaim it cage got three million it's yours you know i don't have it i bet you your kuz pals could come up with it oh that's right you blew them off Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. 
The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those... things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gone. Still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsung. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron? We did this thing where, like, we... are not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. To, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Fight. Controls. Special moves. Don't know what that is. You bit some zoom. Yo bit zoom. Some of a bitch. You haven't stopped him. You just made him angry.
back forward X. I can't be hit. I feel like none of those moves work. Soon. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No, we don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant. But when I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. What does Shang Tsung want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know. But he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. Damn. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. The addition of crushed chitin larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long-lasting. How can you be sure? Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow. It couldn't be more potent. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. And he's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her. You bitch. Excuse me? You know, the movie. Tiny girl, ginormous alien. Ripley! 
No? Seriously? <laughs> Earthrealmers. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. <laughs> <laughs> I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent no. you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung. But it looks like he's just part of the problem. Fight. <laughs> Stealing his powers is old. He goes blind. He's an air juggler. Suplex her ass. Loyal to the royal house. Yet here you are, scheming against the princess. You trespass in Outworld. Interfere in Imperial matters. It is you, not I, who is the schemer here. Fight! Going on, guys, so right about there, you could hear the audio kind of like stops, then comes back, and it's all crackly and scratchy. So, I'm just going to end the episode there. I'll probably have to go back and play a chapter over again, but I'm going to try to record episode four, part four, from there. So, this is a shorter episode, it's like 25 minutes ish long, uh, because I had to end it short because the audio something with the audio I found out when I was uh, editing the video down. Um, that the audio crapped out a little bit. So I'm gonna try to like sync it up, match up there, and that will be part four. If you guys like these episodes shorter, be sure to comment down below. Uh, if you have nothing to comment about, just put your favorite emoji down there just for engagement reasons, and be sure to like and subscribe, smash that bell icon. Go find me over on twitch.tv slash davisdeadly. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Later. <laughs>